Hello everybody out there. I wanted to dive in now in my recordings of the San Diego Historic Convention online and um, I had the opportunity to um, show a sold Sicily 43 Gala Beachhead. Um, a lot of uh, interested uh, people, gamers and fans of our series. At this point, uh, many thanks to Mike, uh, is known as Silla Blitz, uh, for the hint uh, to attend here. Uh, it was a really cool experience um, to show up, uh, yeah, Sicily 43 with the tabletop simulator. And I made in uh, two sessions a 90 minutes. And the first session went through without technical problems and I will cut out um, interesting information for you and put it in this video. For example, if you want to know more about the mechanics of the game, I have fully streamed or fully um, recorded the first um, training um, scenario infantry training. Therefore, I parallel to the action I explain a lot of the rules and mechanics of the game so you will find it here in this video so I wish you a lot of fun for my uh, recordings and yeah if you like it just leave me a comment if you have ideas what you want to see just write or leave a comment and happy to have you as an interested um, supporter in our Assault Games project and yes now let's have a lot of fun and see you set up of course <clears throat> some kind of games or I explain some kind of game components now so I will make it quicker so you see here all the different units we are featuring in this module and um, divided of course German army, Italian army and the US uh, army and you see of course uh, a lot of infantry units we are keen on units which are not so um, often in, in games so like a Pixia mortar team which is uh, not so common in, in, in a lot of models or the two point 8 cm uh, Schwere Panzer Pyxe, which is a, a really nice unit, um, but also the Lancia with the 90 mm is also a cool unit, we think. So we have uh, 40, 60, 64 units. We have therefore for the units, we have separate unit cards which are featuring on the front page all the important information for movement. So um, on the upper right corner you have infantry movement two movement points this unit has a uh, point value of six so you can compare units to each other so the us rivals have a uh, point level of six also so you can say from the statistical values they are even um, then you have a unit with four hearts which means they have uh, four steps uh, till they are eliminated and you have here um, the shield symbol simulating from uh, from the front side above and the rear the same defense base value with the yellow dice so all these um, 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 quadrats are um, unit dice symbols for the compet dice um, which we are featuring here with the red which is the strongest dice from the statistics the yellow the green and then the blue which is the weakest die and so you have uh, below you have um, special abilities like the rifle grenades for this unit. And if you want to know how is this uh, work? Okay, so we have compact dice system customized <coughs> with different strengths in the dice. So red is like a uh, traffic sign, red, yellow, green, and blue is the weakest die from the effects. So the rifle grenades, so there's a special ability here. The rifle grenades featured on the back side of this card. Now oh, I have to take it here from there. And you can flip the card and see on the back side, of course, uh, this unit in half strength would be three strength points. So, and the rifle grenades you have 
a special feature you can use it for one to three hex distance with indirect fire which could help of course in urban uh, combat or uh, if you have some kind of obstacles in your line of sight um, and then you have below your values against the uh, armored targets above the tank symbol and you have uh, soft targets below the symbol uh, with infantry and uh, artillery and of course you have the zero the red zero it's a close combat distance and above and below you have the dice for hard targets so for the tank for example uh, on a distance of zero in the same hex you have a red and a green die and of course with the soft targets you have a red yellow and a green die as a base value for attacking at this distance and also then you have your range um, factors for uh, one hex distance two hex distance and um, for the uh, soft targets you have three distance um, factors for three and four to six seven to ten that's it for the unit description and every unit is described in the same manner then we have a lot of other cards I will not explain in detail we have command cards featuring special effects um, this is an optional rule you can play with them you can leave them out uh, so players will typically have three cards per turn on their hand and they are featuring special things they can play out during um, defined phases like here the local resistance uh, can be played during the support phase and therefore the Italian player gains one half strength unit he can put additional on the board and this kind will give some more um, flavor into the gameplay um, and it's always not um, seeable for your enemy what you have on your hands and therefore it could be a nice feature to play but it's optional you do not have to play them also we have integrated tactical air support and off-board artillery support with um, the command cards so the command cards are here above you have a deck defined at the beginning of the game and if you play with tactical air and artillery support you can mix set cards into the deck of the player you can draw them or not it depends what you are drawing and uh, then you can um, activate them during your gameplay providing in this case an artillery strike or a smoke screen or in that case you have an um, offshore uh, vessel which is providing off-board artillery um, or you can have, let me see, uh, cut, split, spread, search, uh, things like tactical air, for example here the Alkyone tactical bomber, which is placed some kind different as artillery. Yep. So, additional to that, um, we have of course all the action status marker. I will explain during the gameplay. You have um, different uh, um, obstacle and fortification markers which are added depending on the scenario. You have uh, markers for minefields, also scenario depending. And you have you can destroy buildings and terrain for, with um, artillery strikes. So, for example, you can um, use a uncancelled critical hit to destroy, of course, buildings um, or to generate craters, which give or change the terrain features. And that's it for the main material in the game you have. Of course, you have player aids describing all the, the information for the... Um, Battlefield. So now let us go to how uh, you can play this game. So we have in the rule book, of course, we have a uh, quick start scenario which is called infantry training. And uh, this is uh, a scenario playing without all the optional rules to keep it easy. Uh, and you have here a defined uh, order of battle to keep it balanced. In, uh, in all other scenarios, I will show later, you have of course the possibility to 
change this order of battle. But for the training and for learning the core mechanics, this is now uh, one entry scenario. And here you see, of course, you played over six turns, yeah? and the target is, of course, with your units to capture this target hex until or at the end of the sixth turn the faction who has ob this objective wins. So it's a uh, really simple uh, game. You have your units on the type and you have your setup um, sections here defined. In later on scenarios, I can show you for example a later um, um, in full scale scenario now. Uh, you have of course uh, different uh, informations like zones where you can freely change your setup and you have the formations above and uh, which you can uh, draw randomly or or choose manually your formations you want to uh, play. I will take a look to this later on. But let us start with the core mechanic. So now we have to take a look and use search your unit cards for the units here. We have a German rifle unit. Yeah, we have uh, search we have the heavy machine gun here and for the Americans we have rifles and the Cal 50. So where is it? No, come on. Search the rifles. Here we have it and the Cal 50 unit. So that is the important information we need to play. And then you have a sequence how one turn is uh, performed. You have a sequence of play. You have, of course, an initiative role who is starting this turn. We have a planning phase and all the blue with the epaulette and sign means this is an optional rule. You can leave it out and we do leave it out now. And you have a support phase and that scenario we do not have some kind of support like artillery or an uh, on-board support unit. Then we have only initiative, action phase, and then the organization phase. So it's rather easy to get in here. So we can take our roles D6 for the initiative and can start. Blue one is the access player and green one is the American players, so now the US forces have the initiative, they can start now with the action phase and do the first action. So now it's always uh, good to know what you want to do and in this case it's rather easy. Um, I will take over the US player and he will bring his, I think, vulnerable unit because this is only a two-step unit with the two hearts you see it here it's a fire team with a cal 50 and it's slow so it's a slow unit he cannot use fast action so i will explain i will try to give them more cover because they are now on open ground on clear terrain which is not uh, good for them so i will uh, decide to make a normal action and that keeps us to all the different actions we have so i will take some markers here yes so we have several options uh, to start with so a unit can perform of course movement action unit can perform a uh, fast actions and a unit can of course do some kind of move and fire yeah, or fire and move action. So these are in basically the general movement actions you can do. Also a unit can do a hide action, which uh, means it's like low crawling using best cover options, but then you have only one hex max to move. So I decided to move to this trench here, which gives a better um, defense, of course, to the alignment of the trench. So we have here an overlay. I think you see it here. It's a, uh, a flexible part depending on the scenario. You have to place here a trench. And the trench gives, of course, cover. That's, I think, normally. And first thing is always I decide to uh, move this unit here in. For that, I have to take a look to the terrain. This is a clear terrain and I will use my terrain chart to see in the third uh, line, that clear terrain 
and you have the movement costs in the middle here and you have of course your feet yeah then you see it is uh, stated a one and a one means it costs one movement point to get into this hex so i can count one and here's a second clear terrain because a trench is a is a because it's a trench chart you read in the line for the movement for infantry which is all the feet here you see a hex as a word and hex means you have to take a look to the main terrain so the main terrain is here clear i need two points to go in here let's let us see now the cal 50 has on the upper left side a two and a two with a feet and this means this is infantry movement and it's had a max of movement allowance of two points so it is possible i will say okay to my enemy i make a normal action and i will move over here to here and infantry ends always its movement in a trench so now they are positioned inside the trench and gain of course a better defense die or a, base, a bonus like here if you take a look to the terrain defense bonus column you see of course here clear terrain gives the infantry symbol one single green die and green is a second less strong die and the trench you see now terrain defense bonus for fortifications it gives the infantry three yellow die from the front of the trench flank is a little weaker rear is a bit stronger as the flank and above is of course like here stated therefore it has now a good position and nearly a clear line of sight to the target to the objective um, hex okay so now it's over for the action uh, for this unit for the us player now the German player can decide what to do and we have a very similar situation I think as a German I will do a machine gun uh, move and here we go I have here a pillbox on my, on my board I can check if I have some kind of extra movement points to enter this pillbox this states on the last line I need only the hex costs to move into the pillbox so i need one um, point to go in therefore i think i can also try to make a move and fire action and then we are at the first fire action i will activate this unit with a move and fire action i will move with one point inside here and i can also now make a fire action but with some disadvantage of course because i needed time to move in here move and fire means you will take your movement allowance in this case two and uh, half it round it up therefore you can move one into one hex with one movement allowance and then you can make a fire action so now i'm in of the pillbox i have to take a look what i can fire on this is depending of course on the distance uh, allowance the range factor of my machine gun here and um, i have a max distance of 11 hexes so i think i have a chance to uh, get all the three units but now i have to figure out what kind of line of sight i do have to fire on a unit so i will check line of sight is always drawn from this little white dot in the middle of a hex and i will check what i have here so firing on that rifles does mean uh, now i will try it here like this yeah i have a uh, two i have the house with brown roof yeah it's a, a single story building and i have light forest inside my line of sight uh, in that case it's a uh, hindering line of sight um, let me see if I have a better possibility. I have here. Here I have uh, two uh, across two uh, single story buildings and one uh, olive grove. So, therefore, it's a blocked line of sight because I have now three hindering terrain inside my loss. So, I cannot see these rifles. So, then I cannot fire on it, of course. And what about uh, 
the trench the trench I have here a free line of sight because I pass the hex of the single uh, story building and I pass of course a brush in front of the trench so I think it's a good opportunity to try to firing on that Cal 50 because hindering terrain gives the defender of course some kind of bonus which is stated on the terrain chart for example if you take a look to the single story building you have a line of sight modification but this is second last uh, row uh, of a yellow yeah and then you have a light forest of a green so the defender here above the rifle unit gets a green and a green defense die extra uh, firing through this uh, and he gets a green because of the clear terror. So from the statistical side, it is better to fire through this hindering terror because I can simulate it now with the dice. Uh, let us take them over here. So the unit rifles has general a yellow one as a base defense die. The clear terrain gives a green one in which they are and then you get a green one because of the light forest and a yellow one because the hindering building. If I compare it now to the Cal 50 which is in the trench, the trench gives the Cal 50 from the frontal arc three yellow dice and for the unit itself because it says on the unit called a yellow so I have four and that's it and this is stronger because green or weaker dies stronger as this unit so I decide from the statistical side firing on that rifle infantry. So therefore I await my movement and my fire. I will take a look what kind of distance this is. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hex distance. So I'm in the last range factor. So I have a yellow and two blue dice for firing on this unit. I do not have an experienced unit so I have no uh, additional die and that's it for the attack. So I just roll my dice and then I check if my MG because it is a rapid fire uh, and rapid fire... Sorry where did you... Yeah. Sorry where did you get the, the two blue and the yellow dice? Where did that come from? The tuner I mean, from, from the unit card here, you see it on the lower side, you have a range factor 8. Oh, okay. The range, the 8, the 11, yeah. and then you have, okay, I see it. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. This is a base attack dice. Then you check, of course, for modifications like experience levels, or you have some kind of uh, command cards if you play with it, so you can enrich, of course, your attack. And the heavy machine gun has a special ability, rapid fire, which gives me the possibility to re-roll one die uh, and I will use it for the blue one which is a blank and it's again a blank so unlucky and now I have sorted out the defense die unit the building light forest the clear terror and I have to take into account the machine gun made a move in fire action and you see here a small table on the right side the attacker made a move in fire and the defender is uh, has no uh, marker on it so it gains additional green die because the attacker needed time to move and get into position. So now I roll the defense die and you see here um, that, that is not a problem for the defender to defend because a critical uh, symbol which is uh, the skull is the highest result you can have. It's, a, it's like a 6 on a T6. Uh, and it, it eliminates every symbol you can have. So the next, uh, this one is a hit, a normal hit, eliminates a hit and weaker symbols like the X, which is suppression. So the attacker has three normal hit symbols and the defender has three normal hit symbols. So nothing happens for this. This shot was not successful. Okay. So now it's uh, time to get a better cover, I guess, for my infantry. And therefore I want to gain this light forest. 
and uh, I need one, two, and for select forest I need uh, one additional point, so I need three movement allowance. My infantry has unfortunately no, only two points, but I can order a fast action which gives my unit additional one point movement. For infantry units you have to be aware that you can do this only one turn and the next turn you cannot do again a fast action because of exhaustion, because they are running now through the forest here. Um, yes, there was no opportunity to stop them during their run because I can of course perform reaction fire if I have a good situation, but here I have, uh, I don't know, with the rifle 3, 6, 7, 8, 8 is not, uh, it's not a good um, value from the dice, so I let them run into them. So you can always try to make a reacti a reacting and reacting fire uh, if you have unactivated units. So, German player is now on the in the start and he will uh, use a uh, normal action on this unit and uses two points to get into the sand back position here and uh, then we have the last uh, US uh, unit so we will do also a uh, fast action to gain this olive grove uh, we can try to make a reaction fire here. Let me see how the line of sight looks like. So I have the brush hindering terrain and the olive grove hindering terrain. And I have a distance of 6, 7, 8. Uh, it's not a good shot, so I leave them running into the olive grove. And this unit now is going to move on into the trench with a normal action. So this is uh, now everybody made his action. You can also sorry question again. Yes. Sorry question. Yeah. Um when you said when you did a reaction fire, had you done a reaction fire opportunity fire, would that have activated the the German unit so that you yes, can't make right, that move? Right. This this needs an activation. Okay. So it's, and it's fixed. Oh, okay. And, uh, no what I what I meant but what I meant what I meant was is that had you decided to fire the bad shot, right? The bad shot here. No, no, I have um, not decided. I cancelled it. I know, I know. But the thing is that had you decided to do that, yeah, then that activates the the unit, and he can't make that can't make this move anymore. Right, right. It goes so, into the into the sand into this area. Into no, this uh, so X. they would would have been here. Stayed with with mm -hmm. stated with fire marking. So they get a fire yeah. marking, and this simulates that they are currently firing on that unit. So he cannot okay, move. so he can't make. Oh, okay, so you said okay, forget it. I'll just make the move. Okay, all right, yeah. I get it. Thank you. Yeah, oh, welcome. Okay, so they are now in the trench. This was the last action. You can also pass if you play a defender attacker. It could be good, uh, probably, to pass and see what your attacker is doing. But if you have three passes in a row, then uh, the game turn is over. Just for information. So now the game is game turn is over, and this follows. Uh, um, uh, uh, um, you have the organization phase now and therefore you check the victory conditions, therefore nobody has gained this objective, it stays neutral now, you have to clean up your uh, markers, in this case it follows a defined procedure because this is important for the mechanics. So on the left upper side you see the um, procedure, remove all white uh, background markers, remove a uh, turn all yellows or flip all yellows and then and so on. So we do it like it is. So first you have always to remove all white status markers and then you have to flip all yellow ones and then you see the effect because they were running quick through the area here they are exhausted now for the next game turn they have a disadvantage of one attack die. So this was the organization phase for this small scenario. Then you shift up your turn marker and start over with your initiative roll. At that turn, of course, the US player can start again. And I have to think what is good to do. So I am now in 
in a quite better cover of course and clear tenor. I have here my machine gun um, which I want to uh, keep for a reaction fire possible let's see what the German is doing and the US player performs now a height action which gives him more cover and you see here now an um, asking symbol which simulates that a possible player now has to do a spotting roll with a minus one and you see a shield with a plus with a blue die so he gains one blue die additional for defense so now they are crawling into the single story building and performing a height action so mm, the German player answers with his machine gun he thinks that they can is uh, crawl into the building and he wants to try to harm them and he wants to fire on them now we have a different situation as on clear terrain on clear terrain you do not have to perform a spotting role first in that case we are talking now about a unit into a terra which gives cover they so have to be spotted first to uh, fire to make efficient fire if you fail your spotting roll, you can fire instead, but with a disadvantage because you fire, you're spraying, you fire and trying to hit something. But now we perform a d6 roll for the spotting, and this is rather easy. You have again a table for the spotting on the upper right corner, and you see an infantry is an attacking unit, and you have a target which is in the arc of fire, of course, and you in the terra bonus you need a two plus base value, but you have a high action unit, you have two plus a minus one, so you need a three plus as a result to have a successful spotting. A six is not a problem. So they spot the unit and so you can um, fight on fire on with no more advantage for the defender. So again range factor is now four because they come in close. You have two red, one yellow and one blue for the distance of one to four. So I will draw my dice and I have no other modification now for the machine gun and I can roll my attack dice and of the rapid fire ability of the machine gun I can re-roll one and now I try to re-roll the red one because red is the strongest probably I get two hits now better yeah so now let's check this rifle unit is of course has always a yellow like every infantry unit then it has a blue because of the height action and then it is in a, a single story building which gives single story building two yellow and one blue for the defense and I have no experience and so on so and no special feature this is my defense role now and let us see what comes out so now we have a different situation is in the first turn we have one attack die shows two normal damage symbol which got eliminated by this two then we have one x one x which simulates suppression one this is cancelled by one but the final result is two hits and a crit it makes 75 percent so three steps damage therefore i will flip this unit and I need a damage marker simulating the third hit and I have a crit as a result uncancelled and a crit gives probably a special effect so therefore we have to roll a green die for the attacker and the defender rolls a blue die for this uncancelled crit as a special effect and we have no result so I can show what could happen. You see it on the um, right side, critical hits versus infantry and artillery units. So if you have uncancelled critical hit like this machine gun now, you roll a green and a blue die, of course, and then you can trigger special reactions like a fallback uh, or a suppression or so on. This is also possible for hitting vehicles with a crit, so you can get immobile or suppressed or fallback. But now the crit has no further effect. 
And this was of course now heavy damage to this unit, but of course it's a heavy machine gun, so on a close distance. Okay, German player has uh, uh, activated, so the American is now um, now in his uh, face, so what can we do? Now I'm weaker, so probably it's better to go into a reaction. Um, the pillbox would give a good cover to red and a green. So I'm not sure. I can probably pause or I can open fire or I can try to flank this machine gun. But then I'm open terrain and my rifles will do, I guess, reaction. So therefore I will activate with a normal action because I cannot perform a fast again this turn and move up here or let me say it's better to do a hide action yeah i will do a hide action so okay ah the americans come close germans uh, are uh, on the way so they will use a normal action to gain this building this building entering buildings costs two movement points so i have no chance to make a move and fire action now and I have a last uh, action with my Carl 50. They will wait what the German player is doing. And therefore, it would be a bad idea to cross here to go against the plate because the Carl 50 will uh, be devastating on open terrain. So they will try to hit this Carl 50. Therefore, I need a firing marker and we start fire on it so i have a distance of five which gives my rifle squad um, two green and a blue so this is not a not a heavy fire but we will try our best so therefore it is in a good defense terrain so we have to roll for spotting which is basically a two and i succeeded so they can spot with all effects they can do and our result is not so good the trench is giving three yellow from the frontal arc now the cal 50 has a force yellow because of the unit and you firing through the brush area here and brush gives a line of sight modification of a blue one Okay, uh, so I think there is not much effect for this machine gun, no, so the machine gun defense well, there is no damage to the machine gun. Everything is done now, I have a CUS uh, side performing of course, uh, starts firing on this unit because this infantry in the trenches is still firing i do not need to make a spotting roll so it's an automatic spotting result because they are firing you can see where it comes from so i can just count my distance which is five so you have a red a yellow and a green one i have no other modifiers here so I can just roll my dice. I have a crit, which is always bad luck for the German now. Uh, I have three frontal. I have a force because of the unit. And sets it, uh, sorry, and a blue for firing through the brushes here. And therefore I can roll my defense dice. And I can eliminate four normal hits. So one crit stays on that unit. This unit gains now one damage, of course, this is one point. And I have a crit effect to roll, as stated before, a blue for the defender and a green for the attacker. And then you see, of course, eliminating symbols, nothing special triggered. Good luck for the Germans, could be even worse. Sets it for turn two. And then we start over again with our cleanup phase. All white markers got removed and all yellow one got flipped. And now you see a new feature for the next turn. 
for this unit they are hidden now so they did a hide action and the next turn they go into a hidden so and this is now the spotting is now harder we have a minus two on a spotting roll but because they are hiding uh, and using every single stone they find to hide they have a disadvantage when they want to fire in this turn by minus one attack die so it's always the weakest attack die but they gain of course a blue to uh, um, a defense die additional for information if they hide in this turn and do no kind of action in the next organization phase the player could change this black marker to the red marker uh, let me see where is it here uh, uh, oh. ah, i forgot to implement which is an ambush marker so i have to <laughs> upload my ambush symbol here i forgot it sorry for this wait a moment so here we go uh cloud upload here so now we have it so the player could change to an ambush marker which now uh simulating that this unit prepared an ambush and gains an advantage with a suppression and auto suppression symbol when it fires on units first but this is not now this turn it could be next turn so we need again our initiative roll and we have an even so we roll again and now our US player is lucky with initiative you can start over um, Therefore, I want to keep the hidden status, so if I do some kind of action, I lose the status, so I will keep them, and I will try to fire on this unit again, on the rifles with my machine gun here. I need to do now a spotting roll, because they are... Oh, I missed the spotting roll, with a 1, so the defender gains an additional defense bonus. So I have again the distance of 5, which gives again this roll. Uh, green one, yes. Let's start rolling here. Okay, and the German has, of course, three for the trench, one for the unit, and I missed the spotting roll. And the spotting roll missing is uh, the table on the right. Uh, the attacker is firing. I have an infantry unit, and I missed the spotting roll. It gains plus a green die additional for this. So, I roll versus here, and a very good defense position. Every symbol is eliminated, no effect for this fire. So, this could be turning the so luck for this um, game turn. Um, yeah, as a German, um, I'm a little bit stronger now from the unit. I will try start over firing with my machine gun on this heavily damaged unit. I have to do a spotting roll minus two now, so I need a four to be successful, and I have a three. So this unit gains also the green die for defense for the spotting roll, but I can still fire on a distance of four, which gives two red, a yellow, and a blue, and I have my rapid fire. I will reroll this blank here. Okay, I have six hits, and we had a single-story building giving this die, and the unit gets a third, and I have this one, and I have a blue because of my hidden status. So these are my defense dice, and I try to hit that roll. So I think bad luck for them. I have only cancelled one hit, so oh, four, five hits stays on that unit. This will eliminate it out of this house. So this unit is eliminated now. And this was good luck for the German machine gun. Yeah, for the US, uh, not, not so much options. Best option would be to stay in cover, not to walk on that road uh, they will pass 
and the German player of course has a fire minority uh, minority he can of course pass because the scenario says controls the objective at, at the end of the last turn so now in a real game I wouldn't go here in turn 3 I would try to fire on and eliminate as much as possible and then step on it on the last turn so that is what I do now uh, uh, or I know uh, probably I can move over here but here's a hidden unit no I will stay and fire so I will fire on mm, this hidden unit I need a spotting roll trying to get them out a six I succeeded I have a distance of three with my rifles this gives me a red a yellow and a blue and therefore I can just roll the dice I have one hit and one suppression this unit as I remember is in a single story building I think there's not much effect because it has a good cover here in this hex mm, nothing happened so far so this has no effect and the American player yes that is now interesting I can go in ambush next turn if I do nothing mm, but I will try to fire oh I forgot for the single story this unit had gained of course a yellow additional but it has no effect otherwise um, this unit will fire back on this unit and therefore I have to remove this hidden status now and now come on so, so <coughs> make no spotting roll because they are firing the rifles has um, are two red and a yellow which is a strong value um, I could also use the rifle grenades on a distance of three but they are weak with two green uh, so I will join this two red and a yellow and because I was hidden I lose my weakest attack die now for this turn so I have to remove the yellow one so but it's a good thing to have a crit so I will defend here with the yellow for the unit of course the building and we have here the single story building which gives a yellow I can assume yeah a yellow so let's see what comes out yeah lucky German rolls here nothing happened so far that's it for this game turn so this is uh, again organization phase all white got removed ah sorry I forgot this unit um, <laughs> I think they can fire on the machine gun <coughs> but it is uh, less effective with two green and a blue yeah, yeah. Oh, three blanks so really bad luck now so we are in organization phase and that's it for this turn and we have the fourth turn <laughs> Okay, I think I showed so far a lot about infantry uh, uh, combat. This is a training scenario, of course, you can play. We can now enrich a little bit our uh, game play. Uh, so I will um, well, uh, do something which is not included in the scenario, but um, you can assume how easy it is to generate own scenarios because I will try to add in some armor now to make it some kind of interesting again so Germans uh, as a, uh, I think um, it's good to give our American friends some kind of support with with two tanks or two vehicles I oh well, let us see it's, uh, yeah we make it like this so I will add uh, 24 points now uh, with new units getting reinforced and I think it 
could be mm, interesting to add some kind of German steel. So what do we have? I will bring in Panzerbüchse and yeah, this is okay. And I stuck Sturmgeschütz 3G to make it more interesting. So surprise, surprise, we got reinforcements now. In summary, we have um, 24 points and 25 points. I think it is not so important. Where is my unit, my stuck and my schwere Panzerbüchse? And I have here my M4 and what did I hit? Uh, 37 ATG and we will provide them on the battlefield and because I have one point difference I will do give the uh, hardened I will now yeah, let us make a veteran so the oh that was the wrong button copy paste oh bro. that was not a good delete uh, ah here we go I will um, raise the Sherman now to a veteran tank. So let us see what comes out. We will use uh, setup area for the tank or more the clear terminal. So we can put him, him here, and of course, he's a veteran. I will scale it somehow down. And the German uh, is coming, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So it's just to show something how this works. And we have our schwere Panzerbüchse. I will bring it somehow here. And the ADC gun, I don't know. Let us place it here. Okay, so now we have two new units. And um, now we can also add our command point system. I think it's a good idea to show you also an optional rule. So the command point topic is an optional rule. So normally you have formation cards like this stating the units you get in order of battle. This is example three hardened L6, one hardened L3 and three commander points on the lower left corner and you see you have four units but only three points to command so you have only 75% of units per turn you can give an order this is simulated by the command points so now we have five German units so I think it's fair to give them four and you have four units uh, of the uh, Americans and they give 75% the three points so you have now added the optional rule with the command points and how it works I will proceed in the last turns now so we have to add for the game turns now the planning phase and therefore this phase is to add in command cards or command points or both and now we are in the fourth turn so I will make an initiative roll and therefore the German has initiative we are going now to the added planning phase therefore each player keeps it secret normally in a real play and says okay what kind of unit I want to give or activate during the next turn therefore he has to add one point per activation to the units he has it is rather easy if you have less units of course like here but normally you have a shortage of command time because uh, you want to add two units as the american says okay hmm, the sherman is good to reinforce i will use it i will use of course my machine gun and therefore um uh, I will keep uh, that, then I have I will take the rifles uh, to activate so each command point can activate one unit so now I have to decide on the German side which one I want to activate uh, 
you can lose command points by losing units but you have always a minimum of four command points yeah so now we start over with the support we have no support phrase we start with the action phase the German has the initiative I think I will move my armor to the road and vehicle work a little bit different from the vehicle perspective you have a different movement of course this is now on the upper right corner you have three movement points allowance with a tracked movement which is the, sim the track symbol below and you have to align your front to a hex vertex uh, to simulate of course the different armor and you see here this unit has now not only one yellow like the infantry units defense die around here you now see you have a frontal armor defense value a flank which is the below the lower shield with the yellow and the red a rear and a above uh, top simulating top armor also this unit has a blast symbol with a yellow um, die simulating the caliber of the gun and the explosive value of the of the shots um, with this blast value you can of course also bringing buildings into a collapse yeah. uh, if you have uncancelled critical hits you can roll for the building and it could collapse or not this unit has special features like no turret because it's a Sturmgeschütz. I think everybody coming with these tools knows that this is no turret. This is a disadvantage you see here. You have to change facing if you want to fire outside your arc of fire. The Sherman has a turret so it can perform a turret fire. This unit not. You have to do move and fire. Um, and you have the Schützen. So it's uh, good uh, uh, um, if you got immobilized by a rage fire attack so during an uncancelled critical hit uh, the attacker must reroll it could be that the Schürzen helps you out of this situation okay nice vehicle I would say and the Sherman is also described he has no special features but in the same manner you can see his values from the gun, from the uh, anti-tank gun, so featuring artillery, you have also a different movement allowance. This is now a gun. Um, and you have a shield with this gun, so featuring the frontal armor is a red and not a yellow like the others. And you have here slow, because they have to shift this uh, uh, in a slow manner. And you have a low silhouette helping them uh, getting not spotted so easy okay German decided to move up his armor on the road side uh, of course I can do a uh, move in fire if I want but now I think it's time to get some progress I will activate this unit therefore I now have to flip the command point to see that this unit is is activated and I will move up with one two three points and you have to if you move a tank or a vehicle you move always aligned to a hex vertex and you can when you end your move freely change up to one hex uh, vertex it's free if you want to change more than one you have to pay a separate movement allowance so in this case I want to stay like it is here to align my armor to the anti-tank uh, anti gun yeah the American player says yeah, yeah bad luck I have not planned to activate my 37 <laughs> now I had a tank in my front hmm. but I cannot activate because I have no command no order sent out to my team here so it is like it is I have to deal with it during that turn um, but I have also a tank and um, uh, I will try to flank this uh, Sturmgeschütz and activate with a fast action now. Fast action gives of course one point more. I have four hex to go on. One, two, three, four. And I think I will place it here. The vehicles can always every turn do a fast action without uh, without uh, um, pausing one turn because they are vehicles of course 
Um, but if you shot to make a reaction fire on a fast movement of a vehicle, the vehicle gains some kind of advantage in defense because it's moving fast. So I will flip this one and then I have against Germans and yeah, this Panzer Pixie says, nah, I will try to get a hit on this Sherman. I have a distance of four. Sherman is on clear terrain. I do not have to perform a spotting roll, but I have a handed terrain, which gives, uh, get a green die for the Sherman for defense because of this. I have four distance and I have four to six. I have a yellow, a green and a blue to fire on this unit. And yeah, I have no special feature uh, to roll that. I have two hits now. The Sherman, rather easy, has a frontal arc now from two red and a blue and a defense. He is a veteran, which gives him a bonus for a defense, which is a blue one. And he gets this because of the line of sight. And I forgot uh, the fast movement gives a blue one additional because it's harder to hit. So I think the 2.8 has no effect, like here. Yeah. Okay, so the US player is on turn again. Mm, what can we do? I cannot activate this one, but I can try. See to fire on this infantry with my Cal 50. I will try. I have to perform a spotting roll on the building. Succeeded with a 2 plus, so I can fire on a distance of 3 5, which gives me a red, a green, and a yellow. And I have to check the line of sight if there is something inside. Uh, it seems I have the brush inside if I go to the... yeah. The brush gives the defender a blue one. But I first roll my attack dice. Right, good roll. I have two yellow or blue for the building, blue for the line of sight, and this one for the unit. And let me see. This one is eliminated. But three hits are still on, so this unit gets flipped and it gets a third damage because of the three hits. So US is punching back hard now. Um, so Germans have activated here and here. I have my machine gun. My machine gun is starting fire on this infantry unit here and I have to roll for spotting. Uh, spotting succeeded for distance. I have two red, a yellow and a blue. Uh, just roll for it. I can re-roll. Uh, I will re-roll the red one. Okay, nothing. Bad luck. And the defense is this one for the building, for the unit. And you see, oh, good luck, nothing happens. Good citation for the US guys. So I have left now one unit to activate, my rifles unit, which is firing on the Panzerbüchse. On a distance of three, I have two red and a yellow and let's see it's a close distance I have three hits the light forest gives cover a green and a yellow and the unit itself has a yellow okay nothing happens to them and you see now I have one activation for the Germans left, one rifle unit, mm, and that's a question what to do. I will shift this unit here. American player cannot react because all activations are done. And that's it so far for this game turn. Now we come close to the end of this game. 
whites are removed and yellows are flipped and move one ahead so now we have again initiative row uh, Americans then you have to replan and of course hmm, I think it's important now to move up and fire with the ADG gun and the German wants to have his machine gun and nope he wants to have his two rifles and now action phase American player starts over with his tank and trying to make a move and action move and fire action to get uh, stuck from the flank so let us see one uh, I can think about the stuck performing reaction uh, I have to shoot now here uh, let me see no I I have to turn now this one one two so because the tank is not crossing the pillbox the tank is uh, moving plus one crossing the pillbox so I have one two three I have movement allowance of two so this is not possible so the tank must stay here and fire from the tags I have a disadvantage of the former turn minus one attack die I have the line of sight with the um, light forest the stack does not perform a reaction fire now so I can try to hit it from the side I have a distance of five so I get a red a yellow and a blue I'm a veteran veteran gives me a blue also for attack and I have to lose one of my weakest die because of the former fast action I will remove a blue one and set this my result to fire on okay I have five hits this is stuck from the side has a red and a yellow as a defense and because of this light forest in the line of sight there he will get a green one and now we have a move and fire don't forget this modifier it's a uh, uh, green again and therefore let's see what comes out he has three hits eliminating and two hits are staying so this stuck got a hit and got halved and damaged so far um, yeah but it's not eliminated now okay German player will try to bring this stuck into a better position now here the ATC can fire on he will do a fire and mm, uh, a move and fire um, sorry uh, fire and move action where is it here clone so you can also do a fire move action which means this one has to make a turn yes then removing reverse means uh, halved and rounded up so he has two points one was turn a second was uh, uh, it's now firing and then he can shift back uh, we can also do a move and fire but it doesn't matter now but now he has a uh, it's better to make a move and fire because you have a free line of sight but doing this move turning the tank uh, gives the opportunity for the AGT to react and that is what I want to do I want to react here before he can move back uh, to the uh, back to the cover of the house one two three four five and the AGT has um, yellow and green it's not much for such kind of vehicle um, a suppression um, the side armor was red and this one there is no uh, modificator more okay nothing happens so the stuck can fall back and fire then with a clear line of sight on this Sherman tank 
and you have on this distance of six now you have a yellow yellow red for an attack okay not too bad because this stuck has damaged half so he's flipped only half successful counts which means only the strongest on a die so in this case only the crit counts only the hit counts and here only one hit counts so keep this in mind the line of sight is free the sherman has two red and a blue frontal armor um, because of the move and fire action he gains a green one additional so let me see it comes out Ah, and he has a veteran. I not forget the veteran status. Nothing. Okay. So he eliminated three hits. I have now one hit, one crit, and one hit. He eliminates three normal hits. So the crit is the only hit I can achieve on the Sherman. Because it less firepower of the half, the flip status. But I have a crit, which means I can trigger, hopefully, special effect on the German. And, ah, no, unfortunately not, so it stays like it is now. Okay, so let us see which options do I have. The ADG has reacted, so I had to activate it, so again the German is now on the move. And... I have still my my um, 2.8 here, which fires on the German. It has a distance of 4, which gives a yellow, a green and a blue. Um, I have no uh, problem with arco fire, because this unit counts as an infantry unit. This is a 360 degree arco fire. I have no Manus here and the pillbox is no influence of line of sight in that case. Uh, we'll check line of sight is the hex. This is a clear hex, no problem. I can just roll the dice and I have one hit and a suppression. So let me see. I have an experience tank here and I think there's not much happens now. Nope, that's it for this unit. So, let us flip here. I have my machine gun ready as a last unit. I will keep it for a reaction and I have two units. Now I can share a speciality for infantry units. They are unactivated. This one is heavily damaged. I want to have a fresh up in the house. I can um, change this via activating two of them. This is now a special rule for infantry and just move up and exchange both positions but there are disadvantages both are activated now this is now the last action for the american he tries to fire on the new fresh or fresher unit on a distance of four i have two red and a yellow and i do have a spotting roll uh, one okay and now I have five hits. I have for the building this one, and for the unit, and for the spotting roll. Uh, let me see, two hits. Unfortunately, three hits. One hit stays, so this unit also got flipped, but no special trigger. Okay, so we come close to an end. This was the last activation. Again, we remove all the whites. And therefore, no yellow one. Last turn is starting. Starting over the reaction. Uh, with initiative, the red one. Uh, Germans have the any. <laughs> I think from the planning perspective, I will keep shift one here to the unit. Um, I will uh, shift this one to the infantry and German begins with a stuck firing on that German. It's the only option we have here now. Oh, crit is always good to have. And 
Ganze. Sherman has to defend here. Mm, and you see now I have uh, one crit and two hits, uh, but the crit stays, so this unit gets one damage now. And we can try to trigger some special effect. And in this case, we do have a damage point which puts this tank now in a fallback. So we have it here. Fallback triggers fast movement uh, away from your enemy on a direct way. Player can choose, of course, the direction, but not coming closer to the enemy. So I will let the frontal armor in front, so I make a reverse. So I have uh, two points to shift back now here. Okay, that was a good result for the Germans, I guess. And then the American has, because this point is now spent, I cannot activate the Sherman in this turn. Um, yeah, the task is to gain this objective in the last game turn. Um, the American player decides to pass. Activate this one. So, German player has a machine gun firing on this infantry unit. I need a spotting roll for this. And it's okay. Four, which gives two red. Two red, the blue. And let me see what the last turn brings. I can reroll one because of rapid fire. I have four hits. So this unit is in a good defense position. And three hits, nothing. Oh, I have four hits. Uh, one hit stays, but no crit, no special. That's a good result. So the Americans will again do a pass. Um, so if the German would pass and the American again, the turn would be over and the object is neutral, nobody wins. So the German hmm, will have to do something. They will activate the Panzerbüchse to fire on this infantry unit, which is the only one reaching the target, the objective. I have to do again a spotting roll. Three is okay. I have a distance of three. Three is, oh, not much. Uh, good, that's it. More killer and the tank. One hit. I think there's nothing happened. Nope. That's it. So now it's get uh, exciting. Uh, we have on the side two units left to activate one rifle unit. So I will try to hit that rifle unit now with my machine gun. I have to do a spotting roll. Four succeeded. I can roll five distance is here, here, and this one. And you see, oh, one hit. I think it's good to defend. Right, nothing happens. So, yes, now it comes on the last turn. German will try to get into this uh, objective to get it with a low crawl probably he survives on the open road which is probably no good cover and um, yeah that's the activation from the German side and the rifles of course can now try to eliminate them by shooting but nobody has objectives so they have to get into close combat and they have to do it with a fast action because two points for the building one into here or one, two, three, and nevertheless they have to go into some kind of close combat now. And close combat is uh, following some kind of different rules, of course, like ranged fire. So the assault unit is uh, is gaining two red and a green die. Mm. We have it to red and a green. And let me see. Yeah, that's the attack for now. Ow, that's <laughs> good hurt. 
and the defending unit has now is it Terabonus? Is it not? No, it's not outflanked, uh, so it's frontal, but it has an an, an, an an mark on it. So it has his yellow from the unit side. It is on the road, which is really nothing to defend. So road is mm, where we have it here. It's a blue one. So I guess this German unit is for the height action. It's getting to be eliminated. Mm -hmm. Yes surely but it is simultaneously so the German unit can fight back for the first round of close combat which gives uh, a red a yellow and a green um, but you have to take in count this is a half strength unit now only half samples are counting uh, for the result <laughs> in this case nothing so they do not harm the attacker unit so this was a quick close combat, eliminating the German unit, putting the Americans on the objective, succeeding to hit them out. And this is the end of the turn. And of course, we will check for the result, flipping all the markers here. In that case, you see the a result of a fallback, this unit will be suppressed for the next turn, but now it's over. They have captured the objective and sets it for this small little game. We do have, of course, now just to explain if you play not the intro scenario, if you play a really uh, bigger one, you have your order of battle defined by formation cards and that is like here stated in scenario the blue faction plays like a tank formation and uh, you can of course choose out of different formations and set all the units you will have during the scenario and also you have here integrated tactic air and, and offboard RT cards to play and um, that is the main difference for the full scale scenario I wanted to show how the game works in detail. I hope this was hitting your expectation. Mm -hmm.